this is vivek from springman so today we are going to see how we can create a landing zone you can say it's a foundation zone using terraform and google cloud so to give you a context so terraform is an infrastructure as a code tool so that you can uh, pro you, you can provide scripts for example if you see here right like you can provide an uh, script and you can you can give the values so that like inf infra will get created on behalf of on behalf of, like uh, terraform will take care of creating the infra so if you see here you can see right like we are creating a vpc network using terraform so that's the uh, pretext of it so let me let me show you like uh, what we have achieved using uh, a terraform so we have created a sample uh, so this is the landing zone sample landing zone we have created so this is you can say this project so this project is the bootstrap project okay so and there are folders under under it so we, where we have separation of concerns like audit infra workloads kind of thing so under infra if you see we are having networking so that like all the networking stuff will be present in this project and also same thing in the audit we have an project audit project so that like auditing stuff will be present here so under this under this folder whatever present right like uh, that got created using terraform scripts okay so we also created a vpc inside this network a subnet and a vm inside it we will we'll show that so let me go quickly go to the script so that like you can know how we got achieved this so this is our code so there are four folders main folders you can say bootstrap common non prod and prod so these four we will have separate states in terraform so these four are uh, uh, individual uh, uh, terraform uh, scripts you can say modules you can say so in the bootstrap uh, in the bootstrap only like we have we have some uh, so you need uh, <clears throat> so if you let me show you the uh, readme document so that like yeah so bootstrap so these will get created okay a bootstrap project a cloud build a service account will get created uh, iam roles on the service account buckets and a permission for the buckets to upload terraform state so all these will get created using this bootstrap script only okay so if you see here we are having two uh, modules okay landing zone and cloud boots uh, bootstrap so these two are present in the modules okay and we have to provide the values using the uh, these values okay auto wars you have if you provide this that will get created so coming to the folders how we created the uh, child folders as as i said right like we have common non prod and prod so those folders are common so that's why so if you have any common thing you have to do so you can go and write your own scripts here so in the common script we if you see we have created the folders and iams and uh, if you want we have creating a custom roles everything like if there is a common thing you can use this one okay so you can see here right we are giving the values like what the folders required and how the structure will be uh, subfolders and the child folders and all okay so and the other thing we have created a vpc also v vpc and uh, a subnet and a vm so that's uh, uh, actually we did the non prod thing right so we have to go to this non prod folder and we have to run our terraform so if you see we have this uh, main.tf right so where we can see we have a vpc service controls a networking host project and firewall rules okay so we have created a project using these things so the, uh, so this networking host project only you, we are uh seeing here so this one okay so inside it if we go vpc we have created a vpc and a subnet okay so how we created that subnet you have particular uh, uh i'll show you the values okay so yeah network values if you see yeah so this is how we have just given the values to i mean what will be the subnet ip what will be the name of the uh, network and also you have to provide here so the terraform will run and will create on behalf of it 
so if you see we have a, you have a vm and an image right so debian 10 uh, debian cloud so now i'm i'm trying to uh, change the image of the vm okay so let's give the nine value so usually what it have to do like uh, you can't change vm image without destroying it right so terraform will destroy behalf of you and it will create a new image so let us run that script terraform apply if you click on terraform apply the script will get infra uh, the script will get applied uh, physically so now I'm, I'm giving the apply so you can see all the states uh, uh, whatever the state previously is there it will get refreshed as well and you can just see the plan right like because uh, the plan is like to verify whether whatever changes you did like uh, just to verify that okay so if you see here they're saying two to add two to change and one to destroy so the vm will get destroyed and uh, created again okay so i'm giving value as this so you can see here a script it's you can see it's destroying the uh, a vm so if if you go and uh, check the vm instances You can see right the changes it's getting uh, reflected so you can you can just go and check check that script it's still destroying it So if you see here, it got destroyed and recreated again. So let me show you that in it. You can see that the VM got created again. So like you can achieve uh, using this Terraform, like however flavor you need and whatever uh, thing you need. So the main usage of you can see is like you can maintain history as well, right? So we have a cloud source repo as well. Okay, so where uh, the code will be there. So once the code will uh, check into the main branch or uh, commit, right? So then the build will get triggered. So if you see the build, so we are, uh, so whatever steps you need in the build, you can give it. So this build got uh, a success. So uh, in that way, like even you can achieve that uh, CI CD pipeline as well in the infra. So that like when you check in the code, so without any manual intervention, so this will get created. So these are the modules. So whatever, like next time, if you want to create a new project and also you can refer those uh, projects and you have to just give your customized values so that that will get created. Uh, hope hope the, uh, this has given some information regarding Terraform. Um, thank you guys.